All right. A couple of hours later, here is dinner. You know, you're visiting your grandma, your yeah. grandpas, and they're giving you tea mm -hmm. with an accompaniment. Come back at night, here is supper. Mm -hmm. So by the time I was getting into the second day, because mm -hmm. my body is not essentially used to that, it's mm -hmm. completely sick. Yeah. So now my body can't process what we're doing. I'm not accustomed to this. The entire year we eat either once or twice a day, but here you're feeding me four times a day. Mm -hmm. That culture, is it, is it that you as a nutritionist, yeah. is it one of the things that you find that you fight with some of the, the guys who come to seek consultation from you? That, ah, I gotta eat once a day or twice a day, or I don't have to eat ugali in the morning. Do you find it? Yeah, yeah, we have uh, many cases, yeah. but uh, I can pinpoint uh, one of it is, uh, you know, the way you told me, yeah. career, your career, and uh, second, stress, anxiety, depression. You know, uh, the body adapts to many changes. Yeah. Once you do it, uh, we know a behavior, a behavior comes when you do it 21 times. If you do that, uh, maybe you skip a meal, maybe you skip two meals, like 21 days, it becomes your behavior. Yes, yeah, so I will pinpoint that uh, also career plays a major role especially in people in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Number two, we can say lack of money also. Lack of money, people, I know people want to eat well, but uh, Nairobi people eating well is... You gotta, you gotta spend more. <laughs> you it? spend more, That's yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and spending more in Nairobi, you know, like average person, Sapa, let's talk about Sapa, average person. Sapa is around five, uh, 200 to 500 bob. Mm -hmm. But how many people have afford that 500 bob? So uh, they tend to take alternative. Alternative is maybe skipping a meal or taking something light. Yeah. Yeah. So that to me, it may cause many changes in your body. Does it? Yeah. Another question that you're going to run into, mm. Jeremy, is this. Yeah. I don't know whether it's, um, mm. it's something that you need to dispel mm. as an expert in this area. Mm. Where I like the example that you gave. In the mm. morning, eat like a king. Mm. Um, in, the, in, the, in the afternoon, eat like a queen. And mm. then later at night, just eat like a pauper. Mm -hmm. Fine. Mm -hmm. Some other people say this. Only eat when your body asks for it. And you've seen this, um, the Weight Watchers, and, 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 and people talk about body physiology. Mm -hmm. Come and tell you, you see, if your body demands of something, it mm -hmm. will let you know. Mm -hmm. Like if you get hungry, mm -hmm. your body will let you know. And this is what they say, that if you wake up in the morning and you feel like, mm, I don't feel necessarily like eating, or I don't necessarily feel hungry, mm -hmm. that's my body telling me, Mm. We, we don't need it. Mm. So you can take water and get out of the house. Mm -hmm. Until that time when your body says, now I feel like we're hungry, you gotta eat now. Then after that's when you look for a meal. Mm. Is, it, is there an ideology that you support as a nutritionist? Okay, y yeah, uh, to an extent I can support that. Yes. But uh, also to another extent, also it's not good. Mm. 